artwork emerged from China's Jiangnan shipyard, showing a possible design for a new Chinese aircraft carrier known as the Type 004. The goal is to achieve a significant advancement in nuclear propulsion technology by 2027. As a follow-up to the successful launch of the Fukien, China has set three goals for its military, including completing its military modernization by 2035. Additionally, they aim to become a world-class military that rivals the United States by the mid-century. The Fukien is the inaugural vessel of the PLA Navy's Type 003 class, the second carrier class to use an electromagnetic catapult system, the first being the American Gerald R. Ford class. China aims to establish itself as a blue water navy force with the capacity to operate in far off waters, and this plan is anticipated to be at the heart of its efforts. The pursuit of naval supremacy and power projection has always been a key focus for nations in global security. Among the various naval vessels, aircraft carriers have garnered significant attention and investment from the most powerful navies in the world. China aims to establish itself as a blue water navy force with the capacity to operate in far off waters, and this plan is anticipated to be at the heart of its efforts. Chinese President Xi Jinping previously mentioned the PLA's 100th anniversary in 2027 as a goal for the Communist Party's modernization objectives. The Navy's goals include putting the Fukien, the largest warship China has ever constructed, into service. China's sole operational carrier-based fighter jet, the J-15T, has been utilized on the country's other two aircraft carriers, the Liaoning and Shandong. The development of this aircraft has garnered attention from military enthusiasts since 2021 when images of it surfaced on Chinese social media platforms. It is known that ground-based flight tests of the J-15T have been underway for several years at the People's Liberation Army Navy's training base in Xinjiang. According to Zhou Chenming, a researcher at the Beijing Yuan Wang, according to Zhou Chenming, a researcher at the Beijing Yuan Wang military think tank, Chinese engineers have been improving the electromagnetic catapult system introduced a year ago. After more than one year of calibration, now it's time to make sure that the flight test of the J-15T can be completed by the end of this year. The J-15T flight test is contingent upon the success of Fukien's maiden sea trial. Based on the progress made with Fukien, it is suggested that the PLA is accelerating efforts to become a fully modernized military by 2027, coinciding with its centennial anniversary. China has set three goals for its military, including completing its military modernization by 2035. Additionally, they aim to become a world-class military that rivals the United States by the mid-century. The Fukien is the inaugural vessel of the PLA Navy's Type 003 class, the second carrier class to use an electromagnetic catapult system, the first being the American Gerald R. Ford class. As opposed to the ski jumps used by earlier Chinese carriers to launch aircraft, which is a major advancement on earlier carriers and puts her more on par with NATO varieties. Her propulsion and power plant systems are currently unknown, but most analysts believe she is of a more conventional combustion engine or electrical variety. But China's next, and fourth, aircraft carrier might be nuclear. According to a report in the South China Morning Post, analysts predict that China will build another nuclear-powered ship as a follow-up to the successful launch of the Fukien. Nuclear-powered carriers are currently solely used by the US and France, the US uses the Nimitz and Ford classes, while France uses the Charles de Gaulle. According to the same article, the China State Shipbuilding Corporation may have already begun developing the technology needed to make it happen. To be clear, this will be the largest and most advanced aircraft carrier ever built outside the United States. The newest and most advanced carrier in Chinese service is anticipated to be equipped with the most recent J-35 fighter, China's response to the F-35C Lightning II. The Type 004 aircraft carrier is a planned aircraft carrier of the People's Liberation Army Navy's aircraft carrier program. It is intended to be an iteration on the preceding Type 003 aircraft carrier. The Type 004 will be larger and also the first Chinese carrier to feature nuclear marine propulsion, and could generate enough electricity to power laser weapons and railguns currently under development.
The Type 004 would likely carry a complement of J-15 and J-35 stealth fighters. Xi'an KJ-600 Airborne Early Warning and Control Aircraft, Anti-Submarine Warfare Aircraft of the People's Liberation Army Naval Air Force, and Stealth Attack Drones. It was previously suggested that the aircraft carrier could carry J-20 aircraft. However, in a program on China Central Television, PLA Navy Rear Admiral Zhang Zhaojung dismissed the possibility that the aircraft would be used on aircraft carriers as the aircraft was not structurally designed to cope with carrier operations. In addition, it does not have folding wings for compact storage. The pursuit of naval supremacy and power projection has always been a key focus for nations in global security. Among the various naval vessels, aircraft carriers have garnered significant attention and investment from the most powerful navies in the world. During the reconstruction of the Liaoning, the Chinese Navy laid down the keel of a domestically designed aircraft carrier named the Shandong in 2013. The Shandong was constructed with a focus on incorporating more advanced features and technologies. It became combat ready in 2019. It was a Type 002 carrier. The Shandong served as a stepping stone towards China's aspirations for a more robust carrier fleet. China launched its most advanced carrier to date, the Type 003 aircraft carrier CNS Fukien, on June 17, 2022. It is a Type 003 aircraft carrier. The Fukien stands as the world's largest aircraft carrier outside the US Navy, with a flat deck and a weight of 80,000 tons. It was indigenously designed and built showcasing China's growing capabilities in naval engineering. In April 2023, artwork emerged from China's Jiangnan shipyard, showing a possible design for a new Chinese aircraft carrier known as the Type 004. Since February 2018, China State Shipbuilding Corporation has been actively working on the development of a nuclear-powered carrier design. Their goal is to achieve a significant advancement in nuclear propulsion technology by 2027. The incorporation nuclear propulsion system extends operational range and endurance compared to its conventionally powered predecessors. The carrier would experience improved functioning of their electromagnetic catapult systems and have the capacity to support advanced high-energy weapons such as laser and rail guns. The Type 004-class aircraft carrier's advanced combat management system, integrated sensor suite, stealth features, and reduced radar cross-section further contribute to its overall effectiveness.